Church. Many brides and grooms are still on the hunt to find a wedding photographer after Bismarck-based photography company Glauser Images closed its doors this week, leaving customers without a replacement. Cameron Brewer spoke with local photographers adjusting their schedules to help capture the most important day of a couple's life. It has just been days since brides and grooms received the news that they will not have a photographer after Gloucester Images announced its closure. Local photographers are now trying to offer services so their special day will not be forgotten. The photographer community really like has been brought together. Brian Hempstead is a photographer who is adjusting his schedule to fill slots that were abandoned by Gloucester. Wedding planning like is super complicated and convoluted and it's really difficult so I can't even imagine like what these people are going through that's why like I wanted to help. Hempstead says he is trying to help clients who pay Glosser in full by offering 25 percent off wedding packages and 15 percent for anyone who pay partially. I had about like 10 people like reach out so far um, but I mean I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be a lot more. Al Serato is another photographer who felt compelled to help. My heart's pretty heavy from the... Just seeing people be used and all their money be taken in this way without any regard. Serato says he's booked five couples that contacted him for help and he's offering services for a reasonable price. We'll listen to your situation and then we'll accommodate the best that we possibly can. Hempstead says he himself is engaged and knows how a wedding could look without a photographer. Hempstead says his schedule is booking up, but he is trying his best to make availability. I, I do have some time available in kind of the slower months, like December, January, November, you know, November, kind of in that in that ballpark, and then uh, for like later this year. Reporting at Bismarck for KX News, I'm Cameron Brewer. North Dakota's Attorney General's office says it's received more than 50 complaints after the news came out and the agency is investigating. For more information on how to get in contact with those photographers helping out, head over to kxnet.com.